Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have some fun. A uh, couple of things from a housekeeping perspective. Number one, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone. I recently crossed over the 7,000 subscriber mark, so thank you to each and every one of you out there. Thank you for supporting the Bourbon Judge, and uh, thanks again for all the subscribers, as well as all my patrons as well. So thank you for all the love and support. Uh, second, quick update. So I actually just, uh, so I ran out of my old glasses. I sold out of all my old glasses. And uh, so I decided, you know, the old ones were mini drams. They're like three ounces. This time I changed up a little bit more. I went to these little mini glens. So these are two and a half ounces. So you can get a set of these for 35 bucks. If you're interested, obviously just uh, shoot me an email and uh, obviously just reach out. But I like these a lot. And I, I honestly, you know, the regular Glen Cairns, super cool. Love them all day long. But with these bad boys, the reason why I like these is because honestly, a lot of times in a given night, I might want to have a couple of different bourbons or rye, whatever I'm sipping, so I can just fill it up halfway and I can have multiple in a given night where I, when I don't feel guilty, right? So there we go. Variety, as they say, is the key to life. So these are my new Glens. Again, again, you can get a set of those. Just reach out to me, uh, shoot me an email, and uh, happy to send them out. Uh, also, next thing on the housekeeping list, huge shout out to all my patrons, honestly. You know, everything that I'm doing is because of my patrons. They support me. They help me. So I really do appreciate all of them, uh, all their love and support, insight. They give me just advice and feedback and just a lot of cool stuff. So I appreciate it, all my patrons. And, uh, hey, if you like to support the Bourbon Judge, obviously feel free to do so. Uh, tiers start at $3. I do patron-only reviews. I have uh, monthly contests for my patrons, like uh, different like um, samples and a whole bunch of other Patreon content as well. So, or patron content, I should say rather. So again, huge shout out to all my patrons. Last item on the housekeeping list before we get started with today, I'm kicking off, actually it's gonna kick off this week, early this week, so check it out in a couple of days, something called the Express Court. Yes, Express Court. So essentially they will be five minute or less reviews. And primarily what I'm doing is I'm doing five minute or less reviews, primarily whenever I get samples, either from distilleries, from friends, from my patrons, or even from subscribers. So someone sends me a, a sample, I don't have the bottle, my, super quick, to the point, and uh, so look for that, which is starting again this week. Cool? All right, folks, here we go. So today, I'm kicking it off with actually a, a completely different series. <laughs> This is going to be called, let's call it the uh, Budget Friendly Whiskey Series. Yes, so Bourbon Judge, what does that mean? So my goal is, this is, you know, truly part one of this series. My goal is down the road to have part two, three, and so forth. Again, no exact time frame when I put these out, but this is part one of the Budget Friendly uh, Whiskey uh, Review. Essentially, my goal is I'm going to bring on five different whiskeys a mix of bourbons as well as rye. They're all gonna be less than $40 and for the most part, easily available. And the reason why I kind of started this series out is because honestly, people reach out all the time. And they're like, hey, bourbon judge, you know, I know this is a budget friendly bourbon or rye. Is it good? Is it too cheap? Is it, is it bad because it's cheap? So, you know, I, I get those questions a lot and I thought this would be a really good series to kind of, you know, kick it off because of all the people that kind of reach out and so forth. So again, less than $40, five different whiskeys, a mix of bourbon and or rye. And remember the most important things, these are not all going to be buys. They're gonna be a mix of buys and do not buys. You guys know me, I'm always gonna keep it real. Cool? All right, less than $40, let's rock and roll. Woo! And you know, obviously at the end of this, I'm gonna sip at least one of my, uh, one of these, uh, well, at least one of the buys. I'm not gonna sip the do not buy. <laughs> All right, the first one, less than $40. It's like a $26, $27 bottle coming from Wild Turkey. One of the best budget-friendly whiskeys on the market, hands down, day in, day out. None other than, obviously, Wild Turkey 101. I mean, a $27 bottle coming from Wild Turkey, such an established and well, just, I mean, you wanna talk about a distillery that just has, I mean, a, a great um, respect in the whiskey industry. You, none other than Wild Turkey. You really can't go wrong with this one. Absolutely amazing, $27. You can find it, and I say 27, it could be a couple dollars less or more depending on where you live, but you can find it almost anywhere. You can find Wild Turkey 101. Absolutely a great bottle, which I love that by itself, and great quality, true. Just great traditional Wild Turkey juice. All right, next, coming in from the Brown Foreman family, 
one that is probably one of the best sleepers on the market. Let's keep it at the $30 price range. Uh, Cooper's Craft 100 Proof. A $30 bottle, maybe $35, kind of depending where you live, but absolutely an amazing bottle. This is probably, in my opinion, it's very quintessential, very dark, rich, brown sugar, tons of oak. Absolutely a grand slam pour, day in, day out. So both of these two so far are buys, and this is another one as well. Like any other uh, relationship in life, sometimes they're gonna be do not buys. Just because these two are priced very affordable and they're great quality, not everything that is reasonable from a, from a price standpoint equals great quality. So this one will be my only one from this series uh, of the five whiskeys that is actually a do not buy. Probably wondering, which one, Bourbon Judge? Well, Johnny Drum, coming from the Willet Distillery. You know, I've tried this numerous times. I've given it to numerous friends. I'm at the end of the road here with this bad boy. Why do I not like this? To me, I personally just think, even at like, the, I think it's like a $35 bottle, to me, it just honestly lacks depth. Um, you know, it comes in at 101 proof. I like Willet, you know, like anybody else out there. I think their higher, like upper end products are slightly better. Uh, I just think with this one, honestly, with Johnny, Dr Johnny Drum, I just really think it lacks a lot of depth. And for me personally, if I'm gonna spend $35 on this and I see Cooper's Craft or Wild Turkey 101 that are both cheaper than it, I'm grabbing both of these all day long over Johnny Drum. Sorry, Johnny Drum. Sorry, Willet. I got to keep it real, though. It's just me. All right. On to number four. So the fourth one, to me, this one also coming from the Brown Foreman family, but specifically, in this case, Old Forester 100. $27, $28 bottle, maybe $30, bucks, you know, with tax, whatever. Absolutely an amazing bottle. I mean, you can grab obviously the more expensive versions like the 1910 or 1920 the upper end versions of um old forester products but if you're looking from a budget friendly standpoint less than 40 dollars, this is your go-to all day all all night i mean very similar in a lot of ways to uh cooper's craft um similar but yet different at the same time but traditional old forester notes absolutely an amazing bottle great quality and also less than 30 dollars I didn't actually know that I think about it. In the first series, I did not include a rise. So the next the next part of the series, I will make sure I include a couple rise. But for the last one, for the fifth one for today, when you think about budget-friendly whiskey, especially in this case for a bourbon, coming in at about $30, $32, just kind of depending on where you live, truly the quintessential bourbon of bourbons just hits home, honestly. It's, it's like this is home for me. Woodford Reserve, not the double oaked. This is the regular Woodford Reserve. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and pour one of these real quick, but Woodford Reserve, an absolutely an amazing bottle. You know what you're getting day in, day out. And the best thing about Woodford, uh, as well as the majority of, the, majority of these up here, you can actually find these, right? No hunting, no secondary. They're just damn good quality juice day in, day out, except for Johnny Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Johnny Jump. Hey, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour one of these in my little uh, my uh, mini Glen, the Bourbon Judge mini Glens, my new ones that came in. I'm gonna pour Cooper's Craft because this is like, whoo, of these five, I might have to rock and roll with Cooper's Craft as number one, honestly. I, I might. Cooper's Craft and maybe Wild Turkey next. I don't know, but definitely Cooper's Craft. This is just amazing. And I mean, damn good. Hey, I say this every week. Peace, cheers, salute. Appreciate everyone out there. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the support. If you haven't done thus far, please make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me a comment, let me know. Hey, have I missed one of these? But remember, there will be a part two and a part three and part four of this series. So, but let me know if, if, if of all these, which one do you like the most? Cool? All right, my friends. Hey, till the next time. Peace. Cheers. Salute. Much love. Take care, everyone. Mm. There's that brown farming juice. Mm. So thick and creamy. I love it. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>